Good afternoon, everybody. Scott Largent out here at the Hall of Justice in the city of San Jose. Uh, this is our criminal court. Uh, there's actually several of these in Santa Clara County. We've got a South County one uh, that's out in Morgan Hill, and then we do also have the Palo Alto Hall of Justice out there. Um, I'm not exactly sure if the Palo Alto one also has family court there, and maybe they combine a lot of them here. Uh, but in the city of San Jose, on Heading Street right here, you know, we have the Civic Center parking garage across the street right there. Uh, Sheriff's office is a little farther over. We have First Street, County Government Center, of course, the Santa Clara County Jail, and then the Hall of Justice right here. Now, this is only criminal court here, okay? Now, I was out here at the Hall of Justice last week. I was here on Thursday. And there was a homeless woman that I was here with Robert Aguirre, another homeless advocate, and we were here to support her. We wanted to uh, uh, just basically figure out what exactly was going on. Now, uh, Robert has known Rose for some time, and I've known Rose now for about two years. And Rose was brought in by Campbell Police Department, and she was brought in on a violation of a stay away order. Now, this stay away order was from a neighbor that lives behind the Safeway that's on Winchester and I believe Bud right there. And what ended up happening is the neighbor got a stay away order from Rose. Supposedly, Campbell police had served Rose and put the, uh, the summons and the stay away order in one of her shopping carts. And then what they did past that was um, they showed up that same day that they had dropped off the paperwork and they violated her on the stay away order. So at the point they violated her, um, that triggered a criminal charge. Now the stay away order, okay, is running through civil court. So it does not go through the hall of justice right here, okay? When you're indigent or homeless and you go through the criminal justice system, you are provided an attorney, okay? When you go through the civil level, okay, no attorney. When it's an infraction, no attorney, okay? Traffic court, no attorney, okay? When the city, the county, any of the other 13 cities, 15 actually, file a lawsuit against you to try to make your life hell, it's civil court. You have to self-represent unless you have the money to get your own legal defense. Now, we showed up over here for Rose because of course she was pulled in on the violation. Now, the original case that she had out of civil court, um, a temporary restraining order was on her for three and a half weeks till she had to go in in front of a judge. Rose was violated on that order. She was brought into the Santa Clara County Jail over here. She was transferred to the Elmwood Women's Correctional Facility out there, and she was never brought to her court appearance. Okay, now we brought this up with Rose's public defender last week on Thursday, and she said there was nothing she could do about it. It's a civil matter. But remember, that civil matter is what's triggering criminal charges, okay? Now, at this court appearance with Rose, um, it was confusing for Rose. It was good to have, um, I was there, Robert Aguirre is another homeless advocate, he was there. Um, we were able to ask the important questions. We were able to help Rose through the process. Um, it can be intimidating. I believe Rose does have some mental health issues, but the thing is, is she's also overwhelmed. They've been picking on her. They've been bullying her. They didn't serve her properly. They stuck her in jail. They didn't bring her to her court appearances. So you can see all these things that are going on put somebody at a heightened anxiety level, okay? And she's already dealt with enough. Now, the civil level, this case went in front of Judge Carol Overton. Okay, and I've been in front of uh, Judge Overton, and I and I truly believe she is a she is not a good judge. Okay, she had the ability, knowing that Rose was homeless. Okay, she could have looked it up in the database. She could have known that Rose was in custody, and she could have provided a continuance for the hearing. She could have also ordered to have Rose brought over. Okay, to her court appearance. So she could fight the restraining order, so she could better fight her criminal case right here, and she could get back to doing what she's doing, struggling and surviving. 
why make that woman's life more hell than it already is which is very sad now what they've done here uh, to cover up for Carol Overton saying that service was proper not allowing a continuance not bringing the defendant to the courtroom and actually participating in the machination civilly against the homeless community this court system now is kicking the can and they're going to try to send sumi rose okay you ready for this through judge manley's courtroom so what they're going to do is they're going to control rose they're going to put her in front of manley if she doesn't cooperate they're going to stick her in jail for months they're going to make her life hell when she should be able to fight her case here at the hall of justice and she should have been able to have fought that restraining order from the get-go so you kind of see what's going on and this creates a domino effect now the civil end of things is how they are going after the homeless community there's a case uh, Martin versus Boise and it was about homeless people that they were ticketing and basically what they were doing is they were criminalizing homelessness and poverty and when there's no place to go they cannot give trespassing charges they can't arrest people um, you know for staying on public property or sidewalks you know it's already hard enough right there and they were really putting people through hell so now that that case is not being re-reviewed by the uh, by the Supreme Court it is now case law Okay, so if you start doing that to the homeless community here in California, of course that case law can get their cases thrown out, get them community justice. But, so everybody understands, this is how the system gets rigged, okay? They stop running the stuff through criminal court. They start running people through the civil channel, okay? No attorney. Okay, you've got to go in there only with a judge. You don't get a jury. So there's a lot of things that happen. You don't even get Wi-Fi at that civil courthouse. It's damn near impossible to look up case information over there. It's a more intimidating environment and most people more likely are not showing up. Now, when the DA failed to prosecute me on several different occasions here, um, at the Hall of Justice. Think about it. The city of San Jose went through the civil channel, filed a civil lawsuit, got a civil injunction attached to that that stopped me from being able to exercise my democratic values and rag on police chief Pumpkinhead, which was very shameful that they were, you know, that they arrested in a way. Well, they cite and booked me, took the megaphone, you know, all that other crap um, when I had every right to be out on that sidewalk. But they couldn't get me on a criminal level, so they threw me through civil court. This is what they're doing now to the homeless community. They're giving them uh, uh, basic citations that end up being infractions where you don't get an attorney. Okay? When you get a civil restraining order, you don't get an attorney. When they file a lawsuit against you, you don't get an attorney. Okay? I brought this up with the public defender's office. We brought it up with Rose's attorney that we were here with on Thursday, and they said there's nothing they can do about it. It's on a civil level. Even though it triggered criminal charges for Rose. Now they keep stacking these onto Rose, trying to make her life difficult. The city of Campbell's just trying to remove her. It, it's just sad. This woman has mental health issues. She's homeless. They should be working with her, um, just not trying to bury this woman, which is really sad. And Judge Overton, you should have done the right thing, knowing that this was a homeless woman, looked it up in your little database that you have up there on the bench, and gotten a continuance or had her brought to the courtroom. That's shameful right there. I don't think you're a very good judge. You should learn from this mistake, but you do this a lot. There's articles on San Jose Inside and they're all about Judge Overton and the things that she does to homeless and poor people. The eviction stuff is shameful. I've been through that same process in, in Carol Overton's court. Um, what should have been a unlawful detainer, uh, Carol Overton, Judge Carol Overton basically held the old lady's hand to issue, ready for this, a elder adult restraining order. Judge Overton wouldn't let me provide videos, any evidence, and just back me into a corner. She wouldn't even get on that computer up there and even look up Google Maps to even look at the building I was staying at. It's just very shameful that that's what Carol Overton does. She sides with the wealthy and she could give a crap about the poor or the homeless or the mentally ill. Now, Rose has been removed from this courtroom and her case is now going to Judge Manley. Judge Manley will cover for Carol Overton, okay? Because Carol Overton made a big mistake, but 
it's not necessarily a mistake. It's that it, it's the well-oiled machine how they're doing it now. She knows what she's doing. Okay, Manly will hold her hand, stick poor Rose in jail for months, and they'll try to break her through the Sybil channel. And I've been through this stuff too, and it's very shameful. So I appreciate all the support. Uh, down here on a holiday, uh, it's Lincoln's birthday. Uh, we have no court today. I'm gonna make my rounds. I'm gonna kind of go over to the sheriff's department. I believe they might actually be open today. And then we got shift change going on over there at San Jose PD. So I can go talk to the troops out there, let them know how the case is going, and make sure they understand that Officer Stephen Ganova, badge number 4416, needs to kick rocks because I don't want him working for that department anymore. We've been digging into you, bud. And that's the D-bag that took my motor home and lied. So uh, we're gonna get community justice. God bless America. Over and out. Thank you.